What's going on everyone? Ryan Motivates back at you with another video and in this video I'm going to be going over how to do a proper bicep curl and I want to start by saying if you like to see more videos to help improve your mental and physical health and other cool videos hit that subscribe button right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your feet are shoulder width apart and they're nice and planted and flat. Every movement, every workout starts from your feet. So you want to make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, knees, legs slightly bent, facing forward. You want to have your back nice and straight. So you don't want to be leaning forward like this. You want to have your back nice and straight. What you want to do is tuck your elbow close to your body and bring your arm up all the way to your shoulder and come back down all the way down to the bottom. And it's important that you get this full range of motion here to get the full workout of the bicep. So first thing again, legs nice and bent, feet nice and straight, shoulder width apart. And you wanna make sure your head is up straight and your back is straight. Tuck your elbow against your body, look forward, bring your arm to your shoulder, bring it down just like this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the dumbbell. So, feet shoulder width apart, head up straight, elbow tucked in, bringing the dumbbell all the way up to my shoulder and all the way straight down, all the way up. A lot of people put their head down and look at the dumbbell, but it's putting a lot of stress on your neck, but the correct way is to keep your head up straight and go like this. And you don't wanna use momentum with your hips to bring it up because you're gonna hurt your back. So have everything nice and straight. Nothing moves except for my arm. And when you're bringing the weight up, you wanna exhale. And on the way down, you wanna inhale. So exhale on exertion, inhale when it's bringing it down. But the main things is make sure that you're nice and planted if you're standing up. If you're sitting down, it's okay. Just make sure that your back is nice and straight. It's the most important thing. Your back has to be nice and straight along with your head and then moving your arms only. A lot of people sway and they bring them up, but you're hurting your back. You're putting a lot of stress on your lower back. A lot of people bend their neck. They're putting a lot of stress on their neck. So you want to make sure that you're nice and straight. Elbow here, nice and tucked close to your body. You don't want to have it to the side. Have it nice and close. Go all the way down and all the way up to get that squeeze in the bicep. And if you only go here, I have a small range of motion. You're only targeting this part of the muscle. But when you extend fully, you're targeting your whole bicep. You're putting stress on your whole bicep. So you wanna make sure you go all the way straight down and all the way to the top. And you don't wanna stop right here. You wanna stop all the way up here. You see the difference? Boom. So again, feet shoulder width apart, sending up nice and straight, slight bend in the knees, keeping your head up straight, tucking in your elbows, bringing that weight all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. All the way from the bottom, all the way from the top. And from this angle, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you bring the weight all the way down. So the weight is to my side, my back is nice and straight. Head up straight, coming up here. Nothing moves except for my arm. My back is nice and straight, my head is nice and straight. All I'm moving is my arm. Going all the way down, all the way up. Again, you don't wanna be doing this, you don't want to be doing this. Everything nice and straight. Boom. Just like that. So that is my advice on the bicep curl. More workout tips coming your way. Hit that subscribe button. Like it if you enjoyed it. And share it if someone needs help on the bicep curl. See you in the next video. Peace out.